right, a fresh haircut always makes me feel fresh as hell. <laughs> Kiss, Yuka. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow! wow. <laughs> Tell the people how fascinating such a such a snake is. Yeah, Yuka is crying because I'm taking away the snake, but I'm telling him we can put it back together. Come, come, Yuka. Come! Come here! Yuka, come! We'll put her back together. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Look here. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm on my way to the hospital actually now because uh, three days ago I got a tick bite and I took off the tick and now all of a sudden it started to get red. So before I get tick fever or something like that, um, um, I thought I'm gonna make a checkup quickly at the hospital and yeah, I'll keep you up to date. All right, I just arrived here and uh, actually it's the first time since I'm in South Africa that I'm going to a doctor or to a hospital. And yeah, it's a new experience for me as well. Let's see what happens. And the tick got me right next to my nipple. Hey guys, um, I'm just walking out of the hospital now, so I've got that tick bite and um, uh, they gave me two different um, antibiotics, one for three days, one for seven days, and then I'll be fine again. And then my feedback regarding the hospital, it was uh, very clean, they helped me instantly, uh, the doctor was, was very professional, so he checked it out, he immediately saw what it is and uh, yeah, I'm pretty positive surprised. I'm gonna go now into town and uh, get my get that uh, these uh, antibiotics in the pharmacy and yeah now you know if something happens in South Africa you don't have to worry they have good hospitals and good doctors. Django and Chico chilling together. Now, oh boy, you get a new friend. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. So today I'm gonna get some cool CrossFit equipment delivered, and Maria, where we gonna build that CrossFit gym? And I'm gonna report to you guys during the whole day. So one thing I'm gonna get is a water punching bag. 
Now look at this construction. This cable runs on two wheels, which we just welded onto there. And when I want to use it, I pull it down, I can work out, and then I, afterwards I can pull it up again so I don't waste any. Na, da, das jetzt auf der Seite weggeschnitten. Da, aber wie schön das da oben weg, ich komme da nicht dazwischen. Nein. Hör auf, Mann. Dreck mich gerade auf. Ja, worst case. Muss ich. Wow, Aha. starker Bub. Ah. Starker Bub, du. Oh, yeah. <lacht> jetzt, jetzt bin ich stolz. Oh, jetzt bin ich selber überrascht gewesen. Lack! Hey! Stuhl! Alright, so the delivery arrived. There's the flooring. There's the bike. And a lot of more stuff is in there. All right, hey guys, so we are not done yet. The flooring is almost done. We still need to do the edges over there. I'm already unpacking some stuff to test them. And uh, tomorrow morning early, we're gonna continue and finish everything. Everybody, so here we are building a separation out of this grid so that the dogs, they uh, don't enter the gym during the night and fuck up everything and destroy everything. Guys, um, I hope you're doing well on this beautiful day. Um, I'm here in the food station, just preparing some food for uh, this afternoon and for this night. And uh, I wanted to talk with you guys just quickly about my latest post. All right, my latest post is all about an educational challenge. All right, it's about hyenas and I want you guys to learn more about them so that you guys can get excited about them. And I want you to share it with the world. Now to take part in this challenge, you just need to click on my profile, uh, like my latest post about Chucky and comment the most fascinating and funny and coolest facts you know about hyenas. And I will announce the winners this evening. Hey guys, so as I promised, I'm gonna announce now the three winners of the challenge. But first, I wanna thank everybody who took part at this challenge for sharing your knowledge and educating with me people all around social media about hyenas. Hey guys, um, I'm busy working here on the gallery, as you guys can see. And um, what I basically wanted to say is that you guys are just amazing. You guys are incredible. The past three days, Instagram went crazy. Like really, everybody started to reposting my stuff. Everybody started to giving me shout outs. And I want to thank every single supporter out there who is supporting my mission. And I want you guys to know that I'm not taking this for granted. And I'm really, really grateful for all the support you guys giving me. I'm, I'm amazed and I'm really kind of speechless. Um, yeah, together we can change the world. Thanks a lot for everything. And one last thing I wanted to tell you guys is um, I'm checking all my DMs and uh, all my comments every day. I can see when you guys tagging friends, when you're reposting me. But I can't, you know, time-wise, I can't, you know, reply every single message. So please, please don't take it personal um, in case you did text me or uh, you gave me a shout out or something like that and I didn't reply yet. Um, it's really hard for me at the moment with the gallery and everything what I'm doing over here uh, to keep up with all those messages. Hey guys, um, I hope you're having a great start into the week. Um, this morning I did some office work and now unexpectedly I got a call that there is a huge fire at the neighbor's farm. So we're gonna go there and fight the fire. Oh. 
So we are busy killing the fire on that side and extending the fire to the other side over there. And this is what's happening at the moment. So let me help them now instead of talking. It's freaking hot here. What's up, Queen? I'm not about this life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what's happening? Waiting, waiting. And the fight continues. John is killing it. All right, let me help him. All right, hey guys, uh, we are now back home on our farm. Um, we were busy fighting that fire for the past six hours now. Uh, we killed most of it, uh, but it's still burning, um, but it's not gonna affect our farm anymore. So um, our animals are safe, everything went well. We are just a little bit exhausted now because nobody was expecting to um, fight the fire for the whole day today. And during the day, it's even harder than in the night uh, because it's fucking hot out there. So me and the whole team, we are going to have an ice cream now, aren't we? Are you ready for ice cream? Yes. Good. <laughs> and uh, I'll keep you guys up to date. And later on, I'm gonna upload an amazing video. So stay tuned and tune in this evening. All right, we are done now. And let's go and have an ice cream! <laughs> So this is our new rescue. It's an Eland baby. Um, and uh, you can actually see from the head to his toe everywhere he's covered in scars. He has a rotten teeth here in the front. A friend of mine told me about that Eland and uh, he said obviously it got abandoned by uh, its mother. But as it looks like a lot of different things happened to him because uh, what would explain all those scars. As soon as I saw the condition of the animal, I felt so sorry that I said uh, he can bring it to my farm. I will raise it, I will make sure it recovers properly and I will give it a beautiful life on the oasis. So, so on Monday I'm having the vet coming in for an all over check and uh, yeah, then we're gonna take it from there. All right, so after I dropped that video, a lot of people started to ask me if I really speak all those languages. And uh, yeah, obviously now I have to prove that I speak them. So the first language, which you can hear obviously now, is English. Okay, puno ljudi su me pitali, jel mogu da pričam hrvatski malo u moj story? Evo, tu znam da pričam hrvatski. Um, I pozdravim svi iz Srbije, iz Hrvatske, iz Bosnije i svak... Dann Schweizerdeutsch, wir sind ja alle auch. Das ist Schweizerdeutsch reden, ich bin ja Schweizer. Ähm, ja, was soll ich sagen? Die meisten wissen, dass ich Schweizerdeutsch rede, also machen wir einfach weiter mit der anderen Sprache. E per tutti gli italiani, io anche so parlare l'italiano. Ähm, e cosa devo dire? <lacht> non lo so. Und offensichtlich, da ich ja Schweizer bin, spreche ich auch Deutsch. Ähm, mich haben ein paar Deutsche gefragt, ob ich äh, vielleicht mal in einer Story Deutsch sprechen kann. Here we go. Um, ja, so klingt mein Deutsch. Et je sais comprendre français. Um, je sais pas seulement un petit peu, mais je comprends tout. En tao agora en portugués. Um, não sei falar perfeito, mas eu posso ter uma conversa normal en portugués. All right, so now you could see me speaking all those uh, languages, but please, please do me one favor. Let's stick with English, because if I have to start to answer questions and, you know, uh, text with you guys or speak to you guys in so many different languages, I'm going to mess it up. So welcome to the Dean Schneider Barbershop session. <laughs> So there is Duran's new haircut. Look at this fade. 
Oh my God, you're so handsome, man. <laughs> you're gonna be the prettiest boy at school now.